A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city and a man will meet you, carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, before Jesus meets his death, he asks his apostle to prepare the Passover meal. Annually, the Jews celebrate the Passover to commemorate their liberation from slavery in Egypt. According to tradition of the Jews, the men are required to go to Jerusalem. They follow an outline of the celebration. It is called Passover Shadow, like the Catholic order of the Mass. The first reading describes an exodus event after the weaving of the Ten Commandments. Moses informs the people about the laws from God, and the people express their willingness to obey. They all agree with God by promising to do everything God had said. So, then Moses sprinkles the blood of animals on the people to ratify the covenant. Thus makes them a covenanted people of God. My brothers and sisters, in this context of the celebration of the Passover and the weeping of the covenant, Jesus institutes the Eucharist as described in the Gospel today. He takes bread and wine, turning them mysteriously into his body and blood. Jesus replaces the old covenant with new covenant in his blood, bought out for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus wishes to celebrate the Eucharist to keep his memory alive. Dear brothers and sisters, we Christians value supremely the celebration of the body and blood of Christ. It can speak for all that we can say about our faith. The Eucharist relates to our birth, life, journey, sufferings, struggles, death, and salvation. Let us 
pray for hearts that remember the goodness of the Lord, and may Lord give us the generosity to become Eucharistic for the others in the world. Thanks for watching. God bless you.